All right, guys, so here it is, the full Season 3 roadmap for MW3 and Warzone. Let's break down all the content we're getting here. First up, again, on the roadmap, it gives us an overview of what we're getting. Let me zoom in here real quick. For Warzone first, we have, of course, Rebirth Island Resurgence. For modes, contracts, ranked play for Rebirth, uh, Resurgence, Champions Quest as well for Rebirth, and a new contract, Spy Drone. Interesting. For features here, we have climb and punishment gulag public event we have a new biometric scanner smart displays a new field upgrade squad rage squad assemble variable time of day that's actually pretty cool we have returning weapon trade station perk package specialist and a foresight kill streak for multiplayer here a lot of cool mp maps we have emergency 6v6 gives me kind of like carrier vibes from bo2 it's not based on that map but that's what i'm seeing here a little bit we have a six star 6v6 map which is actually the dubai map we talked about in a previous video grime 6v6 tanked 6v6 grow house 6v6 which is a remaster of a vanguard map kind of interesting we'll talk about that later on and checkpoint 6v6 as well six 6v6 maps that's actually kind of wild there so big w at a sledgehammer for MP modes here, CTF returns, one in the chamber, minefield, a new one, and escort as well. Sounds pretty cool. And of course, for zombies here in season, a new story mission, a new Dark Ether Rift here at Zarqua Hydroelectric, and a Warlord classified schematics as well. All cool stuff there. For weapons, operators, and much more, we have the MP9 in the Battle Pass, otherwise known as the FJX here, the Moors Sniper in the Battle Pass, the Gladiator Melee Weapon in the Battle Pass, and later on in the Classified Sector in the Battle Pass, the Bow 27. Kind of sucks we're not getting that right now, but still pretty cool. Operators, Banshee, Hush, Snoop Dogg in the Battle Pass, as we said, and a new Black Cell Operator uh, status, it seems like. Okay, for perks here, compression carrier modular assault rig gunslinger vest reinforced boots and a high gain antenna for equipment here emd mine uh field upgrade enhanced vision goggles and uh, of course aftermarket parts as well another vortex event here pretty cool and another and a call of duty endowment event as well uh, of course here for operators godzilla and kong couple operators there that we talked about and a godzilla kong event in game 420 themed event here Cheech and Chong which is pretty interesting and a blaze up event reward as well so let's break this down in further in the full blog post and of course before we go through some more stuff here quick shout to you for GM if you need cheap cop points rare unlock codes zombies can max and much more there's a bunch of stuff over there use code Mac for an extra five percent off links are down below but first off here for a better look at the new multiplayer maps in this update we have again six star launch a 6v6 MP map medium size set in Dubai looks really really nice a solid looking layout as well can't wait for that one we have emergency here 6v6 small sized map this one looks sick as well kind of like a meat type of vibe but you know still pretty cool we have grow house launch which is a remaster of a mp map from vanguard called sphere back in season three which i don't remember at all honestly so is it weird to bring back a vanguard map yeah, it is a little bit, but I, I feel like most people do not remember any of the DLC maps from Vanguard. I mean, I barely do. So this is a decent thing to have in the game. Why not? I mean, I barely remember it. So it's kind of like a new map anyway. So we'll see if it's actually fun in the game very soon. Next one here, we have tanked launch new repurposed 6v6 MP map. This one is, okay, the Vondel Zoo here. So I'm actually not really mad at that. Again, we're getting a lot of new 6v6 maps and we're getting extra from existing parts of the game. I don't mind that at all. We're getting six total 6v6 maps. So if one is from a small part of an existing Warzone map, again, not a big deal at all. Seems to be pretty cool. We have Checkpoint here as well. A new mid-season MP map, another repurposed map here. This is actually from... What is this? Uh, Rebirth Island. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So a section of Rebirth Island as well, coming to multiplayer as a small 6v6 map. Not mad at that as well. I mean, that's pretty cool. And then we have Grime mid-season as well. Small to medium-sized MP map. This is completely new here. Uh, London Canal. Okay, actually, oh, based on the last campaign mission from MW3, right? Or at least a little bit based on it. Okay, that's pretty cool. For the MP modes here, as we said, pretty self-explanatory, but we have Capture the Flag here solid mode of course one in the chamber returning as well okay we have minefield a new mid-season mode here so okay um so hard, horde point was hard point but with zombies minefield is multiplayer but with mines so that's literally what it is just mines everywhere uh, that might get kind of annoying but we'll see how it is and we have escort as well mid-season 
So kind of like maybe the zombies escort contract a little bit like that or maybe like that overwatch uh, Escort mission. I don't know what it's called or the game mode whatever But it seems like it's just that but in multiplayer sounds kind of or maybe like war as well So some type of combination of that that sounds pretty cool there We have a new vortex playlist here in season another vortex mode So some of the returning MP maps that were remade for the previous vortex event a couple weeks back here but with, with, with a new twist on it, I guess. So they don't really reveal too much here. But okay, seems to be pretty cool. A new arcade mode. We'll see what that looks like for Season 3 Reloaded. We have Season 3 Ranked Play as well. Same type of vibe here. Same type of ranking system, but with new cosmetics, skins, all that good stuff. Here's a look at some of the camos. Really, really solid stuff. Like the blue and white theme here. Not too bad. Another look at these skill division rewards here. Okay, there's specifics on that. We're not going to read through all this here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Same type of vibe as we see with previous ranked play updates here. For the new perks here again, we have a better explanation as to what this is all about. So Gunslinger Vest, uh, Secondary Weapon Specialist, no weapon slots, no primary slot, Secondary Weapon Slot 2, Equipment Slot 4. Okay, that's actually pretty interesting there. The following benefits apply to Secondary Weapons. Only refresh your stamina on kill improved reload speed reload while sprinting increases weapon swap speed by a minimum of 40 percent and spawn with maximum reserve ammo interesting stuff there we have module assault rig here lethal and tactical scavenger start with maximum reserve ammo resupply lethals and tacticals from dead players okay we have the compression carrier here assisted healing and gas protection immediately regenerate health after a kill or objective capture reduced effects from gas grenades Reinforced boots here, immune to movement reduction effects, high grain antenna, minimap is zoomed out for you and nearby allies, enemies remain on radar longer for you, and nearby allies, if a nearby ally has a CCT comms vest perk, see nearby ally radar pings from intel jacker and compass indicators from nearby ally signal jammers, okay? And EMD mine here mid-season, proximity triggered mine that sticks to surfaces, once triggered the mine shoots out tracker devices that reveal the enemy location and direction until removed interesting stuff there we have new tactical here uh, as well enhanced vision goggles evg mid season here this is interesting talk between normal vision and enhanced vision with integrated target highlighting has a limited battery so i guess for a short amount of time here you could get a better view of the enemies in a certain area okay sounds cool there for zombies here we know mostly what we're getting we talked about a bunch of the zombie leaks on the channel this is all reloaded content for season three here. We have Dark Ether Story, Third Rift here, new challenges, Warlord Rainmaker. That's the main challenge. So saving Dr. Jansen. We'll break this down in further uh, in, in a future video here, but saving Dr. Jansen, okay. Unlock a uh, quest, uh, Third Rift here, more. So here's a look at the new Dark Ether Rift and Zarko Hydroelectric from Almazra. Looks cool. I mean, it is an Almazra location, but the skybox for all these Dark Ether Rifts are pretty fire. So you gotta give them some props for that, I guess. Uh, schematics here. Okay, so we have dead wire detonators, golden mask filter, sergeant's beret here. Interesting stuff. So do they go through? Yeah, they go through what this is all about. So camera challenges, prestige challenges. Okay, but schematics here. Dead wire detonator schematic. Are you still shocked at the impressive electrical damage the dead wire ammo mod inflicts? Then you might want to employ the dead wire detonator and attach it to your explosive weaponry, including lethals and launchers. Oh, so you're getting that dead wire effect on those? That seems kind of interesting. We'll see how powerful it is in the game. Golden Mask Filter, a prize schematic with a shiny hue and an impressive, long-lasting effect. Gain a self-regenerating gas mask for the rest of the match. This comes in extremely handy for surviving zombie strongholds and any surprises in the rifts there. So kind of like the uh, golden armor plate, I guess a variation of that there. That's pretty cool. And then a Sergeant's Beret. Your outcomes no longer need to be terminal when dealing with Zakaev's hired guns. Simply don the Sergeant's Beret to disguise yourself among the mercs and summon a trusty merc bodyguard who shadows you to the end interesting stuff there we'll see how good that is and how useful it is in a normal match there we of course have the rainmaker warlord here mid-season okay mortar rounds rpg fire uh let's see it's gonna be on the floor where is the fortress does it say southeastern part of the urzikstan exclusion zone okay so that's where he's gonna be oh shahim manor that's where he's gonna be there okay so the warlord updates are are okay i mean they're nothing too special hopefully we get some good rewards for actually defeating him that's the main thing there for war zone content here of course a lot of stuff rebirth island is the main one releasing at the launch of season three pretty big update there all the points of interest i mean the map is the exact same there are some you know mini map events that could happen sometimes where the prison gets blown up or the tower might come down but 
For the most part, the map is the exact same. All stuff we've seen in the past, all pretty cool POIs. I mean, the map looks bright, colorful, so solid stuff there. Nothing much I can really say on that. Definitely can't wait to play it next week. Go down here, more locations, okay. All the points of it, they're really just revealing every single angle of this map. Kind of crazy here. Uh, eventually we'll get to some new content here okay so public events or tack atlas of course is out if you guys want to look at that so we got this here new game mode warzone boot camp interesting stuff uh a new training mode pretty much okay so it's like a training mode for warzone there's bots in the mode so it's just really more for new players i'm assuming interesting stuff there rebirth resurgence of course that's gonna be a main game mode uh Re rebirth resurgence loaded so what's this about actually just the ground loot and matches a resurgence and bring your preferred loadout oh okay so no ground loot just the loadouts that's it that could be kind of crazy there rebirth a lockdown so that same lockdown game mode we saw for other resurgence maps coming to rebirth as well sounds pretty cool of course these are the new map changes that will happen on rebirth rebirth infill strikes here in its season so not happening at the launch of this update but season three reloaded we'll have some stuff where we have the tower that collapses the prison gets exploded stuff like that shows you some images of what's happening here prison okay that's what it'll look like solid stuff there i mean i kind of wish it was at the launch of the season because rebirth is fun as it is but i've played so much rebirth i kind of want some different things to happen off the bat but in a couple of weeks we'll get those you know cool in-game map events whenever they happen however often they happen but solid stuff there we have climbing punishment as well a new gulag event here available on urzikstan vondel so interesting stuff was what are we doing keep your comms on two ladders will drop from the roof providing an easy escape route it's up to you to both trust each other oh so you could both both players could just climb up the ladder if they want and escape easily but you have you have to trust each other you can still kill each other that's kind of funny there we have heavy armor mid-season public event here on rebirth resurgence it allows you some added protection enabling the equipping of an additional armor plate for the duration of the match the extra plate is visible above your health bar interesting so it'll go to 200 total health there that's kind of cool you can match with an additional plate equipped so just a higher ttk game mode pretty much that that's a really really cool vibe there so can't wait for that well actually we did see a heavy armor mode uh back last year right so i'm kind of remembering that now but cool stuff there spy drones here new mission contract on rebirth there uh advanced uev armor plates redeploy drones okay enemy operators and can steal the rewards okay cool stuff there mission contract of course the champion's quest same type of vibe there here's the new champion's quest operator skin that looks really sick the weapon blueprint you get as well on rebirth island that's so so cool we'll talk about that in a future video new field upgrades here squad rage okay locate an enhanced version of the battle rage field upgrade by looting or purchasing at the buy station then huff the mask to your tactical advantage once active squad rage vaporizes any gas within the radius of effects surrounding the user and grants battle rage to both you and any teammates standing within that radius that sounds pretty sick actually so it's just an enhanced version of battle rage you have the new field upgrade utility box here which, what does this do so oh uh, yeah both armor and ammunition that's really cool a foresight kill streak here what is this all about so oh so force i can offer incredible insight to the future zones pretty much is that all it does okay that's actually solid I like that foresight there uh we have specialist returning of course they teased this a while ago but it is returning there perk slots perks off three all perks active perks off four all perks active there goes through how that works there pretty solid stuff aquatic gameplay comes to rebirth islands you can now swim around certain parts of the map or maybe the entire map for that matter that sounds cool biometric scanner here so let's see key cards key card rarity okay so you're going in here get xp rewards different stuff like that uh, okay cool stuff so just new things to do on rebirth island there we'll go through all that when the map actually comes out uh different buy station access and in-match rewards here so bring your key card that you got and you'll get different rewards there based on the level okay interesting stuff additional permanent so obviously with every new resurgence map it seems like for mw3 we're getting a ton of new easter egg rewards things to do we'll go through all of those again in specific when this update go, do, do, does go live next week but still solid stuff there we have a time of day change here so in season i guess you're gonna have different versions of rebirth island the weather is almost always sunny with clear size but sometimes you're gonna have some nighttime vibes there a bit of a i don't know what this yellow is a dust storm in the middle of the ocean i don't know what's going on there but still pretty solid stock maybe that's sunrise actually who knows but really cool stuff there the sky gets a little dimmer i i like that vibe a lot man that is so so cool that'd be really sick for zombies actually the map changing like that the weather the time of day really really cool stuff there we have sonar displays here 
What is this actually? Smart display panels offering operators the latest Coney propaganda, weather forecast for a rebirth, largest heat zone, congregation of players fighting. Yo, so it's gonna show you like where a lot of players are on the map. That's actually really, really cool. First demon operator hit 10, 15, or 20 kills. So you'll know what operator is getting a lot of kills in the game. That is so, so interesting. Squad assemble and squad play bonus here. A squad that stays together slays together during the infill of Resurgence and Battle Royale. Expect to earn match rewards if you land near more enthusiastic teammates who lead the way. That's pretty cool there. So sticking together will reward you. We have some stuff here. So full squad landing quads. All four operators landing radi eye overlap at least. Oh, so this is just like the parameters for, you know, how you're getting more rewards for being together, for landing together. Majority squad landing trios, all that different stuff there. That sounds pretty sick there. In match rewards there of course okay you'll get some other stuff like that supply uavs xp extra cash bonuses okay we have a weapon trade station here for warzone let's see so okay so you can bring weapon loot that you find and get extra stuff so attachments different attachments there all good stuff there the rarity of weapon you receive is two levels more common than the weapon you dropped into the weapon station so you could get you know just higher rarity weapons there like that vibe unsubstantiated intel launch here so some easter egg type stuff will go through all that you know when the update goes live again next week bunker entrances as well for the in season update for season three okay pretty cool there of course warzone ranked play on rebirth that's gonna be really sick here's some of the rewards of course same type of stuff we saw with multiplayer but you know some slight variations okay saw stuff there warzone again we got that already okay uh warzone mobile so warzone mobile we went through a lot of that in a previous video new uh, events happening right now new mp maps okay cool stuff there this is all warzone mobile so i guess they're doing all warzone mobile marketing um in the main blog post as well so for the weapons here of course we still have a lot of stuff actually mp9 or fjx smg here in the battle pass of course at sector eight okay the moors sniper rifle sector four there really cool in the battle pass as well we have the gladiator melee sector 15 in the battle pass Okay, pretty interesting. Battle 27, mid-season redacted in that classified battle pass sector. Aftermarket parts as well. One for the Bruin MK9, M4, and BP50. Okay, and they go through a lot of the other ones as well. Black Cell here. Here's the main Black Cell operator looking really, really sick here. Black Cell sector, you get that. Okay, here's the full battle pass as well. Looking really, really cool. Nice blue vibe here. Bunch of operators here. We have Makarov, of course, tier 100 operator skin, and the base one as well. So a lot of new Makarov skins here. Snoop Dogg, launch battle pass operator skin as well really really cool there we have banshee here looking pretty sick we have uh hush okay another one here at tier well we have a base one and a tier 100 one as well we have stasis here the main black cell operator instant reward there looking kind of crazy a bunch of new store bundles as well free gift for warzone's fourth anniversary that seems pretty cool so just hop into warzone pretty much yeah so it's really it so you just hop in get that stuff uh, Tracer Pack Cheech and Shang, of course. That's going to be coming for around 420, right? Kind of funny there. The Godzilla Kong Operator Bundles. These seem really, really cool. Like those vibes there. The Emperor Pack as well. Okay, some, some Greek vibes here. I don't know what this has to do with face here, but I, I guess this is the Operator skin they're getting in honor of their win, maybe? Or they just threw this... This, this, has, this has to be a typo here, because this doesn't make sense with this Operator Pack here. But whatever it is, what it is. Uh, other bundles as well a glimpse here of what we're seeing they don't break it down in full but still some cool operators there challenges as well new weekly challenges here's a new camo we're getting that seems pretty cool season three events as well godzilla kong there we have a blaze up event high trip here a new vortex event as well we'll break that down in further once we get more information very soon season three reloaded events here a lot of other stuff new prestige challenges uh, obviously standard stuff there we get with every season free trial and that's pretty much it for the blog post so again there's a lot of stuff to go through for future updates for season three it seems like it's a pretty jam-packed season be sure to subscribe for more cod update videos like this we'll break it all down in future videos shout out to the channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys